Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a quick little break of 2021 Panini Prism Draft Picks Football Random Pack Break number 39. Just a five spot break, everyone gets a pack each and let's see what happens. Big thanks to this group for getting into it, appreciate it. So first we're going to open up the box, label the packs and we'll randomize names and pack numbers. We'll see what you end up with. All the football teams doing their thing, doing their mini camp thing. And uh, let's see how, it all, let's see how it all shakes out for all the teams. Hope springs eternal in this time of the year. There hasn't really been, well, actually, one major, I was going to say, there hasn't really been any major issues this year just yet. But uh, Carson Wentz for the Colts might take a little while for him to come back. Uh, CJ Lee, look at the schedule and read that section in red. I think that'll give you the answers you, you want. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's uh, go back to some dice. Let's roll it and randomize names and pack numbers three and a one four times. One, two, three. And a one. At Yen's down to Justin after four. And then three and a one, four times for the pack numbers. One, two, three, and a one. Four, fourth and final time. Four, five, two, three, one. All right, Jens with pack four, Nicholas with pack five, Gail with two and three, and Justin with pack one. I think we're just going to break the packs in, in that very order. So give me just a minute here. You can fast forward through this part if you're, uh, if you're watching the replay of this, if you're watching live. You're just stuck with me printing labels, watching me print labels here. Rebel saying, I'm wondering if Watson's going to play. He was supposedly at training camp from what you heard. Yeah, he was at training camp. I don't know if, if he's been taking any any reps or anything like that, but he's supposedly in there, and his thoughts has apparently, even with, even with the legal issues, has not changed. Still wants to trade, he still wants out. Print out those labels. Let's flip back to the screen right here. Let's we'll see what we got. Good luck. All right, Jens, we're going to start with you. Pack one. Pack four, that is. Sorry. There it is. Good luck. Right, so I think the auto is right here in this spot. So let's slide that pack back here. There's Najee Harris. Red Wave, Chris Carson to 199. Now then Kamara, and the autograph is going to be Tyree Gillespie. All right, there you go, Jens, and that's numbered uh, 66 out of 199. Najee Harris, I think he's a stealer. He's supposed to be, he's supposed to be pretty good. Correct, CJ. I, but I think in your case, I think number one applies in that section highlighted in red. If it's sold out and not on the schedule, ladies and gentlemen, as it says in the description in the uh, break schedule, a one, we probably just need to go through orders, which is what's set on the schedule right now. Or there could be some filler breaks that where we need to give away the remaining spots. And if you scroll down below that, you'll see that no, that Mosaic just needs filler pack 11 
to unlock honors, which is already sold out if you look at jazbeescasebreaks.com. So that means number one applies. We just need to go through orders and see where it lands on schedule. All that information is on the break schedule, folks. We want to try to be, I know it can get a little complicated sometimes with the fillers. So we want to try to be as open with that information as possible. That's why that schedule in the chat and pinned in the chat is always so important for you to keep track of. That way you can kind of plan out the rest of your evening and be like, okay, come back and take a look at this or that at the end. All right, so there's Rondale Moore to 99. Blue Ice for Nicholas. Carson Wentz, yeah, some trouble for Wentz in Indianapolis. Some crazy chatter I heard this morning and on the ticker here on ESPN <laughs> that they might that they might get uh, – there's a Trevor Lawrence there. There's some speculation that <laughs> Nick Foles would go to the Colts. Can you imagine Nick, Nick Foles just – Stealing uh, stealing Wentz's job everywhere he goes. There's Nishan Wright autograph for Nicholas. If you're the Colts, you can't do that, right? You can't bring in Nick Foles. There's the 199, unless you're moving Carson Wentz. Trevor Lawrence, rookie card for Nicholas. Nice. Let's top load all these guys, too. Thanks, Nicholas. Got the Trevor Lawrence card. No ink for him just yet. Gail, you have the next two packs. You're coming up in a second. Huh. That praying mantis is still sitting on on Victor Robles' head. Is that Victor Robles? I think so. <laughs> if you're watching Monday Night Baseball, there's a praying mantis sitting on top of, top of the head on his hat and he's in the outfield. All right. Nicholas, once again, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, Gail, you have two packs, two and three. And then uh, Justin, you'll have the last one here, pack one, which is right over here. Let's set that aside here. And there's Gail's packs two and three. I posted another box of these. If you buy all five spots, yes, that's a personal box right there. There's Trayvon Morig, Odell Beckham Jr., Blue Wave to 249. And we got Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott reveals a Samuel Cosme autograph. Crazy to think that Texas might be part of the SEC at some point. All right, pack three. Good luck. Brandon Ayuk, Red Wave. Ryan Tannehill, Red to 299. Baker Mayfield. And behind Baker Mayfield is Cade Johnson. A non-licensed college, apparently. Where did he go? 46 out of 149. And finally, at long last, this, this is why the this draft picks break is pretty fun. We're starting to see these guys in camp. A lot of these guys in camp Starting to get some of that preseason buzz and get a better idea of what these guys, what these youngsters can accomplish in the National Football League. Exciting to see, because during the, you know, shortly after the draft and during the season, uh, during the preseason, really, or the off season, there's really not much going on. You know, you have a lot of players that that may be talked about a lot, but but that's about it. You don't know, aside from the, and especially hobby-wise, aside from the the top quarterbacks, right, the quarterbacks that were drafted, aside from that,
now that we're starting to see these players in action, we're going to start to see, hey, who's that, you know, who's that player that's going to be under the radar? We know about the quarterbacks already, but who's going to be the players that, that come under, out from under the radar and become darlings of the hobby? So it's always a few players each year where that happens. And a redemption on the back, Justin. Good luck. There's Gardner Minshew. Maybe he goes to the Colts. There's Brandon Cooks to 149. Clyde edwards Delaire was one of those players last year, early in the season when he really, really broke out. I think there's a lot of interest in his stuff at the beginning of this season. He was under the radar. All right. The redemption Justin Gutting is Kyle Pitts. Not bad. Draft picks, autographs, orange pulsar. Pretty nice, and you get a free top loader with it too. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Next one box break in the store if you want to run this back and get some of these. Uh, hopefully, all of these guys will be future stars. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.